for one, Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. Just wanted to bring you a quick announcement video of something Sony released, and that is two new lenses and a flash, which is not really important. But uh, one of the common complaints against Sony is that they don't have a lot of E-mount uh, lenses. They don't have a big lens lineup. And one of the biggest things, especially in 2016, was them getting G uh, their G line, their, their basically their art line, of glass to the market um even though it is super expensive but we've got two lenses uh that are new today we have the 100 millimeter g f 2.8 and the more affordable option 85 1.8 so this g mount lens is obviously going to cost you 1500 dollars, which is pretty steep for a lens like this in my opinion especially when it's around 100 me 100 meters that like isn't a macro but it it could be a little bit more like maybe this should have been like 130 millimeters 135 whatever and then it could be something like that because that is a well sought out portrait lens for a lot of people 100 millimeters is an interesting range it will be good for portraits but just interesting to see what they would do with something like this i mean once they slap that g mark on that glass it adds it it adds a significant price tag to that. I'm sure it's going to be built very well. But but yet again, it's another prime option. It's another E-mount. They still need more zooms in that range. 11 blade aperture. Um, it's going to have image stabilization as well, which I guess obviously uh, raises the price. That's the OSS. So that's obviously a good thing. It's going to be, I think, weather sealed as well. I think it said in the press release as well, not just something on here. So this is just something to look forward to. I don't know if you're a Sony shooter, if you're interested in something like this. But let me know down below. Do you think $1,500 is a good price? for this one thing to note especially around the specs is that it uses this apodization i don't know how the heck to say it uh filter but and but it renders this i guess they're really trying to target video users as well as a t-stop which is a more truer value to what this is it's a t5.6 to a t22 so this is an interesting thing you don't hear that a lot that is definitely obviously cinematic terms and you don't see anything in these lenses the other cool thing is that the uh, aperture ring and i thought that was going to happen in the rumors that i heard is that it's going to have a declicked aperture so that way you can really get this for video so it is very interesting to note that this probably isn't just their target for photo it is for video but once again that's 1500 dollars. let me know your thoughts on that the other lens is an 85 f 1.8 they've been doing this with a 50 millimeter and i don't know if they have a 35 millimeter or something like that so we can continue looking into that but it looks you know what it is i mean there are other 85 options i'll show you in a second but it is what it is f 1.8 to f 22 i'm sure it's going to look good it's going to look great you know they're going to make lenses great again for sony um but looking back to 100 millimeter they don't really have anything out there for the e-mount line that's the biggest thing there's like rokinon samyang bauer and all that kind of stuff sony only has it for the a mount which is died down a lot obviously that no one really buys the a mount camera uh, but as you see they have like eight hundred dollars for something like that and as you continue to look down you can see that type of stuff as well 85 millimeters once again they did come out with the g line last year they have the 85 1.4 1500 dollars i don't know if i would even debate buying the um this over the 85 i i probably would just go over the I don't know. I, I probably would obviously just go with the 1.4 and go with the 85 for not much more money. I don't get the pricing in that department. But besides that, you get um, Carl Zeiss, Sony, and all that kind of stuff. Once again, nothing specifically for Sony. But that's the two biggest announcements right here. 100mm f2.8 and then the 85 f1.8, the more budget, $600.00. Excited to see what this one's like because it's obviously more affordable for a lot of people. The other thing, as I said, they released a flash that is well overly priced that no one's going to buy. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this something exciting? Is it not? I don't know. I can't read your minds. If I did, that'd be a hell of a talent. 100 millimeter, 85. Keep it going. Keep releasing good stuff, Sony, but keep it manageable and affordable. That's why still people want things. <laughs> Keep going.